This is Bob Maloney from MyMMANews.com, and I am talking to John Fox tonight for the first time. John is fighting in the main event coming up on Saturday, December 3rd, USKA 101 Allentown. Hey, John, man, happy holidays. Before we get into the fight business, you know, you seems like you've been you've been fighting. You've been very active. So your body, you've been busy. How you feeling? You've been staying away from those you know, aggravating injuries. How's your body feeling? How's your mind feeling? Good. I feel great. You know, at Juniper, they really we don't really have a fight camp or nothing. It's just like you're always training for a fight. You know, we're always ready to go. Everyone's training hard and I feel good. I've been at like you said, I've been active. So re just ready to go. Now, John, you've been, like I said, I've been gotten to watch you fight over the last several years, you know, as your career has progressed. How did you, what, what made you fall in love with, you know, the sport and with training and with fighting? What got you hooked? Was it somebody? What was it that, you know, got you to this point where you're competing at a high level? Listen, you're fighting in the main event for, you know, a USKA championship. So what brought you here? So, when I started, I was actually like 15, 16 when I st first started training Muay Thai. I started at Dad's Fight Camps. And uh, my dad started me there. He signed me up when I was 15. I sparked interest to it. And then ever since then, I've just been in love with it. I can't, can't get away from it. Just love it. I'm in love with the sport. Listen, you've had a lot of success. I mean, you've won the championship before. And, you know, as an amateur, what's the end goal for you is your – you know, listen, one fight at a time, obviously. Yeah. And we're going to talk about that fight. But is the end goal for you to, you know, become a pro and have a, a you know, a pro career on the side? Or talk to me, what is what is your long term plans in this sport? My long time, my long term goal really is to be professional full time, professional full time fighter, Muay Thai fighter. That would be the goal of mine. And that's what I'm working towards. Now, as far as are you into, would you would you ever, uh, you know, you're not really teaching classes right now. You're just training. But is is that something you would be interested in the future is maybe maybe having your own gym? Is that something like yeah, but, a lot of fighters? You know, it's it's tough to supplement your income with just fighting. You know yeah. what I mean? So you always have to have that other avenue. Is is that something you're not interested in or, or you are? Yeah. Eventually, eventually, probably after I retire, after I'm done fighting, retire from the fight game and stuff. I it'd be it's hard to run a gym while fighting, so I like just focusing on myself, focusing on my teammates that also have fights coming up, and helping them out. But for now, I'm not even worried about starting gym or doing any of that. Just You're fighting. right. That's out of responsibility. You're exactly yeah. right. You have a gym. You got people that are representing you. That's yep. more stress on you, which definitely I can under completely understand your point. Taken away from you being able to put everything you want into advancing your career, I can completely understand that. Well, talk to me about this fight, Kyle Thompson, 145 pound USKA championship. Tell me a little bit about Kyle Thompson. I mean, listen, this is Muay Thai. It's not really like you know you're going to have a, have to have a game plan. You're going to go on air and try to kick the shit out of him and elbow him and kick him and punch him. So. Yep. Tell Tell me a little bit about, you know, how you guys and your coaches, I'm sure you, listen, even though you say you're not, there's not really a camp that you guys always stay, you know, in shape to fight. I'm sure you guys sit down and talk about, you know, yes. the fight. So talk to me a little bit about it and what you, how you guys say it. You know, we've been, just been working on normal stuff. We've seen, I watched a couple of his fights, seen his style. He's kind of an aggressive opponent with a lot of hands, good technique, good opponent, of course. And, uh, yeah, just been working the game plan that I always work, staying long, stay working my style. That's really all. John, talk, talk, talk to me a little bit. Give some love out to some of the um, you know guys that you've been training with, who you're sparring with. Tell us, your, yeah. your coach, tell us who your coaches are, who's who your main coaches are, who are helping you get ready for this fight. Yeah, I mean Joe Logan and George Pasakis, they're the two head coaches at Juniper, and then every all all my team. There'd be so many to name, so many sparring partners, all the the men and women there. Everyone helps out so much. Yeah, all 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 the teammates to help out so much. It's great. I love the the atmosphere at Juniper Muay Thai. It's great. Well, listen, I appreciate your efforts over the years because, like I said, you came in and you were you were you were raw. You only had a fight or two, and now you know as I've got to see you progress, you're fighting in main events and for the title. So thank you for you know your your hard work and contributing to the community because it doesn't go unnoticed. I mean, when I see John Fox's name 
on a fight card. I'm and now I'm going to be there. I'm like I'm happy as hell because I love to watch you you fight and and you're you're an exciting fighter. So thank you. I want to thank you for you know putting that work ethic in and you know it's it's such an listen John Muay Thai. It's not like you know I'm an MMA Muay Thai. You know it's nonstop action. You don't really get a chance to, to breathe. And uh, you anybody before we go give some love out shout outs to family members any 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 friends people who are coming there to scream to have you you know yeah. raise your hand for victory and the the fight in that ring is lonely but the, the support is that uh, big to get yeah. there so got some shout outs you know my parents you know always helping out dealing with me my brother my girlfriend of course dealing with me during you know getting ready for a fight you know that's always uh fun with all the training and everything but always supporting me, like my coworkers, friends, family, everyone. You know, everyone's so supportive. I have such a good supportive circle around me between my teammates, my parents, my girlfriend, my siblings. You know, it's it's great. It's just awesome. Well, listen. After your weight cut, what's the big? What's your go-to meal after you have your weight? You, you know, you weigh in. What's what are you going to be grubbing on? Well, after weigh-ins, you know, still got to eat clean till the fight. But then after the fight, probably probably some dessert, ice cream, something. Getting straight to it. There you go. There you go. John Fox, once again, main event, USKA 101, Allentown. And I can't wait, December 3rd. John always brings the action, and it's going to be a great time. John, thanks for giving me some time, man, and best, of, best so of skills and best of luck with your final preparations and weight cut. And we will see you in Allentown. Thank you so much, Bob. Thank you.